Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IHG Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video I'm going to explain first how Strala order works, and then how to calculate the Strala orders from a digital elevation model in QGIS. The Strala ordering method starts with the smallest tributaries from the source and gives them order 1. When two of order 1 join, they become order 2. And when two of order 2 join, they become order 3. So when two of the same order join, we increase the order. However, when a smaller order joins a higher order, we don't increase the order. So in this case, when order 1 joins order 3, it remains 3. And then when two of order 3 join, it becomes order 4. In this way, the orders increase towards the outlet. It's easy to calculate the Strala order from QGIS. When you have loaded a digital elevation model, you can go to the Processing Toolbox. There you can search for the Strala function. Strala order is a tool under the Saga tools. Here you can choose the field DEM. I choose the output file name. Let me call it Strala. And I click Run. Now it will calculate all the Strala orders. Now it's done. Click Close. And in order to make sense out of the calculation, we can style the Strala order layer. So I go to the Layer Styling panel. And Strala orders is in fact an ordinal scale, so it's not continuous data, it doesn't contain decimals. It uh, is also not uh, nominal, like classes that we can mix, there's a certain order in it. So the best thing to do is to use then the palleted unique values renderer, which we have here. And because it represents river, and the higher the order, the bigger the river, we choose here blues and then I click classify and it uses all the unique values that it finds in this raster layer from 1 to 11 in this case where 1 is the smallest order at the sources and 11 is the largest order uh, towards the outlets. So basically that's how you calculate uh, the Strala orders in uh, QGIS. If you like to get updates of new videos please subscribe for my YouTube channel. You can find more free materials on GIS on our GIS Open Courseware website, which is gisopencourseware.org.